Hello and welcome to the Many Faces of Autism session. We are so happy that you are here today. Our host, if you could put Rebecca and um, Stacy on the stage for us, please. All right. Yep. So I'm just going to skip the first slide then. Oh, there we go. All right. Before we proceed, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so excited you're here. Um, our first question, if you can go into the chat box, could you please share with us your um if you're a parent, a guardian of an individual with autism, if you may have autism, and the age range of the individuals for us. We're also asking that if we have any Spanish translation needed, if you could put that in the chat box so I can have Rebecca on um, standby for a translation. Again, if you could put that into the chat box. Buenos días, soy Rebeca, la doctora Rebeca Millán, recurso, maestra de recursos y líder de los enlaces de padres de servicios multilingües y estoy aquí para facilitar la presentación en español. Si usted necesita que la presentación sea traducida en español, por favor, escríbalo en el chat. Gracias. Perfect. So while we're waiting for our chat box, we're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Caitlin Belke. I am a ESE instructional coach here for Orange County. I support all students from kindergarten through um, transition, so age 22, as well as supporting um, teachers. So I go through and help them structure their classrooms and provide strategies and supports to better support our students. And I'm going to hand it off to Stacy to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Stacy Conrad. I am a district behavior coach and I as well support students from pre-K to 22 years old and teachers. Um, uh, lots of our kiddos that are on the spectrum are uh, the majority of the cases that I work with. So I am thrilled to be here. I also have my own son who's 10 years old who's on the spectrum. So this is very near and dear to my heart. All right, so, so we're gonna move forward. Again, if we require any Spanish translation, please add it into the chat box. If you have any questions based on what we are uh, presenting today, put in the chat box, we'd be happy to um, answer those questions for you. Autism is the more common term for what is known as autism spectrum disorder or ASD. According to the DSM-5 and CDC, autism is a social communication disorder. This means that individuals with autism might struggle with communicating and interacting with others. Though symptoms may look different as a person ages, autism is never outgrown. Autism is a spectrum, and the word spectrum is the key to understanding what it is. Because it's just that, a spectrum or a range of abilities and challenges. Two individuals with autism can look and behave very differently. Ultimately, autism impacts individuals in many different ways, and the bottom line is autism can look a lot of different ways. Autismo es el término más común para lo que nosotros conocemos como el trastorno de espectro autista. Según la guía de consulta de criterios diagnósticos del DSM-5 y el Centro de Control y Prevención para las Enfermedades, el autismo es un trastorno de comunicación social. O sea, las personas con autismo pueden tener dificultades para comunicarse o interactuar con otros. Los síntomas pueden parecer diferentes a través del crecimiento, más el autismo nunca se supera. El autismo es un espectro. Espectro es una gama de habilidades y desafíos, 
Dos personas con autismo pueden verse y comportarse de manera muy diferente porque afecta a las personas de muchas maneras diferentes. You will learn some simple and effective strategies. These are a few simple things that can have a big impact on the quality of life for individuals on the spectrum. The five simple strategies include using interests, preparing for what's coming up, using visuals, providing time, and speaking simply and clearly. You'll see that these strategies can be used by anyone, anywhere, to support individuals with autism, whether you interact occasionally or every day. Aprenderás cinco estrategias simples y efectivas que pueden tener un gran impacto en la calidad de la vida de las personas en el espectro. Estas estrategias son el uso de intereses, la preparación para lo que está por venir, el uso de imágenes, proporcionar tiempo, hablar de manera simple y clara. Estas estrategias pueden ser utilizadas por cualquier persona y en cualquier lugar para apoyar a las personas con, a las personas con TEA. While no two learners with autism are the same, there are some common characteristics of autism. Since autism is a spectrum, you may see some of these characteristics in your learners and not others. In this session, we will go over some common characteristics and show some examples of learners. Let's explore these three characteristics, social communication, restrictive or repetitive behaviors, and thinking and learning. We will begin with social communication. Aunque no hay dos estudiantes con autismo iguales, existen características comunes del autismo. En esta sesión, vamos a repasar algunas de estas características comunes y dar algunos ejemplos. Estas son comunicación social, comportamientos restrictivos y repetitivos, el pensamiento y aprendizaje. Comenzaremos con la primera característica, comunicación social. When we consider our first characteristic of social communication, we will emphasize the two primary areas of social skills and communication and language. Regardless of the number of words or gestures an individual may have, a common area of difficulty for individuals with autism is in how they understand and use language. We cannot make assumptions about an individual's communication ability. A person who has a large vocabulary may still have trouble understanding what others are saying, while another person may have limited vocabulary but can still understand everything. This may be the case for people of all ages. Comunicación social tiene dos áreas principales en la comunicación social que son destrezas sociales y comunicación en lenguaje. Independientemente del número de palabras o gestos que una persona en el espectro tenga, es un área en donde pueden tener dificultad para entender y usar el lenguaje para hablar. No podemos asumir la capacidad de comunicación de una persona. Alguien puede tener un vocabulario amplio y tener dificultad para entender lo que otros están diciendo. Otra persona puede tener un, vo un vocabulario limitado y entenderlo todo. Esto puede ser el caso para personas con TEA de todas las edades. Individuals with autism want to be involved in social activities when they know what to expect and understand their role and the role of others. The rules and nuances of social interactions are so complex for individuals with autism, and it's hard to understand how to apply those rules or how to read those rules. Think of everything that might be required in body language, make eye contact, maintain appropriate physical distance, listen actively while anticipating your own response, and understanding the complexities of language. Wow, we do all of that in one social interaction. These are all very complex skills that may not be understood by individuals with autism. So relating to others can be difficult. Getting along with classmates sometimes could be a problem. 
Las personas en el espectro desean participar en actividades sociales. Sin embargo, ellos necesitan saber qué esperar en esta actividad social, entender su papel y el de los demás. Las reglas de las interacciones sociales son complejas para las personas con autismo. A ellos se les hace difícil entender cómo aplicarlas o cómo leerlas en otras personas. La mayoría de nosotros interpretamos el lenguaje corporal, hacemos contacto visual, mantenemos la distancia física adecuada y escuchamos activamente antes de responder a una conversación. Todas estas destrezas son muy complejas para ser entendidas por las personas con TEA. Por eso su dificultad para relacionarse y llevarse bien con los demás. Learners with autism, especially those who have more significant needs, have difficulty with some of the early foundational social skills. They may struggle to understand the give and take that is a natural part of social interactions. Learners may use subtle cues like pointing and very soft vocalizations to attempt to gain the attention of teachers to communicate wants and needs. Hablemos de las destrezas sociales básicas. Algunos estudiantes con autismo tienen dificultades con algunas destrezas básicas como entender el dar y tomar en sus interacciones sociales. A veces ellos usan señales como señalar apuntando vocalizaciones suaves para atraer la atención y comunicar su deseo o necesidad. Understanding and using nonverbal cues is another social skill that is hard for learners with autism. This is including body language, facial expressions, and gestures. In interactions with others, it may be hard for learners with autism to pick up on social cues, like when somebody is bored or frustrated. Similarly, they may have a hard time matching their own nonverbal cues to a situation. Entender y usar señales no verbales es otra actividad social difícil para aprender con autismo. Esto incluye lenguaje corporal, expresiones físicas o gestos, faciales, perdón, o gestos. Por ejemplo, puede ser difícil para ellos ver la señal no verbal de cuando alguien está aburrido o frustrado, o tienen dificultad para mostrar sus propias señales no verbales. Learners with autism may have a hard time engaging in conversation. They may have difficulty taking turns or having a hard time remaining flexible with the conversation. En las destrezas conversionales pueden tener dificultades para tomar turnos o para mantenerse flexibles con la conversación. Given all of these social challenges, they can have a hard time connecting with others. They might want to interact with others, but do not know how to start or initiate those interactions. They can also have difficulty forming and maintaining friendships. Conexión con los demás. Ellos pueden desear interactuar con otros, mas no saben cómo hacerlo. Y esto puede resultar en tener dificultad para hacer y mantener amigos. The social barriers that people with autism experience can have a major impact on how they understand what people say and mean, respond to others, and understand situations and feel or react when they are communicating with others. Social rules apply at any age, and although individuals might appear rude or self-centered, they're not. They're just having difficulty understanding how to best communicate with others. A veces la manera de ellos reaccionar puede parecer grosera, mas no lo es. Simplemente ellos tienen dificultad para saber cómo comunicarse con los demás. One major challenge for many learners with autism is understanding communication. They may have a hard time following directions, understanding questions, or keeping up with information that is presented verbally. Most learners with autism have difficulties or at least differences related to language. There is a wide range of verbal and expressive communication. Verbal communication can range from learners who are completely nonverbal to learners who may have larger vocabularies than expected for their age. Comunicación y lenguaje. 
Nuevamente, muchos estudiantes con autismo tienen un gran desafío con la comunicación. Por ejemplo, dificultad para seguir instrucciones, entender preguntas o mantener al día con la información que se presenta verbalmente. Asimismo, pueden tener dificultad con el lenguaje. Hay estudiantes que son completamente no verbales y otros que pueden tener vocabularios avanzados para su edad. Some learners with autism can also have unusual patterns of language or communication. Echolalia is fairly common. Learners with autism can also use odd language or what is sometimes referred to as idiosyncratic language. Otros aspectos son tener patrones inusuales de lenguaje o comunicación, por ejemplo, la ecolalia, que es bastante común. También pueden usar un lenguaje extraño o lo que a veces se conoce como lenguaje idiosincrático. In addition to unusual language, learners with autism can also have unusual speech patterns. They may have monotone or very dramatic annotations. They may also speak with an odd pace or rhythm. These differences in speech patterns can have an impact on things like intellectuality or social acceptance, but they may also be looked to as a unique part of the learner. Ellos pueden tener una entonación monoto, monotónica o muy dramática o pueden hablar con un ritmo extraño. Estas diferencias en los patrones del habla pueden tener un impacto en la inteligibilidad o la aceptación social, pero también pueden considerarse como una parte única del alumno. Now that we have learned some in-depth characteristics of social communication, there are some simple things that you might do to support. Use words that match the individual's understanding, speaking simply and clearly and using activities and materials that are interesting to the individual with autism during that interaction. When possible, use pictures or written words to communicate your message using visuals to help them understand the expectations. Social experiences can be very positive for individuals when they are prepared for what is coming up and give some extra time for the individual to respond. Estrategias para la comunicación social. Estas son algunas estrategias para apoyar a una persona en el espectro. Usar palabras que coincidan con la comprensión de la persona. Hablar simple y claramente usando actividades y materiales que son interesantes para ellos. Utilizar imágenes o palabras escritas para comunicar su mensaje. Usar visuales para ayudar a entender las expectativas. Prepararlos para lo próximo y dar tiempo extra para procesar y responder. Thank you. And now I'm going to hand it over to Stacy. Most of us have patterns or routines in our lives that provide us with some comfort, like your favorite restaurant, and you probably take the same way to get there each time you go. If something forces a change to that routine, like a closed road, no big deal. You adapt and move on. For many learners with autism, these routines or patterns are often important to how they organize their lives and stay on task. When something causes a disruption or change, it can be overwhelming. It may take longer for them to adapt and understand what to do next. Comportamientos restrictivos o repetitivos. Muchos de nosotros tenemos patrones o rutinas que nos dan comodidad como ir a un restaurante favorito y tomar la misma ruta para llegar a algún lugar. Si algo cambia, esta rutina, como el cierre de una calle, nos adaptamos. Sin embargo, para muchas personas en el espectro, las rutinas y patrones son importantes para organizarse y ser consistente. Cuando algo causa una interrupción o un cambio, puede ser abrumador. Ellos pueden tomar más tiempo para adaptarse y entender qué es lo próximo por hacer. When we face a receive, what we are really talking about with the set of characteristics is some of the unique behaviors you may see in learners with autism. These can be repeated or stereotyped movements, sticking closely to routines, strong special interests, or sensory. Repetitive movements are often 
did not a mark characteristic of autism. My movements like hand flap or rocking back and forth. They may also have behaviors like spinning objects. Learners with autism who are verbal report that repetitive movements or behaviors often serve a purpose. They may use them as a strategy to calm down, or it may actually help them to concentrate. For this reason, it is not a reasonable or appropriate goal to try to eliminate all repetitive behaviors or movements. Hablemos sobre algunos comportamientos únicos de las personas con TEA. Ellos pueden ser movimientos repetitivos, apego a las rutinas, intereses especiales fuertes o problemas sensoriales. Los movimientos repetitivos son a menudo algo característico del autismo. Movimientos como el aleteo de la mano o la oscilación hacia atrás y hacia adelante pueden también girar objetos. Los estudiantes que son verbales expresan que estos comportamientos a menudo sirven para calmarlos o los ayuda a concentrarse. Por esta razón, no es razonable o apropiado tratar de eliminarlos. And just like how Vivian put it in the chat box. Learners with autism often rely heavily on routines. Routines can provide predictability and comfort. Since there is an insistence on sameness or routines, changes or disruptions can be quite upsetting. Sometimes simply providing some advanced warning about a change can make a huge difference. Necesidad de igualdad o rutinas. Los estudiantes con autismo a menudo dependen en gran medida de las rutinas. Estas pueden proporcionar predictibilidad y comodidad. Los cambios o interrupciones pueden ser bastante molestos. Puede hacer una gran diferencia si se les dice con anticipación sobre algún cambio. Many learners with autism demonstrate focus interest on narrow and sometimes unusual topics. There are typical interests that are often think of such as trains, space, dinosaurs, TV characters. And then there are topics that are quite wide ranging. Um, some can include their favorite nail polish color or the plane schedule. These are a few examples of how a variety of topics could become a focus interest for learners with autism. Muchos estudiantes con autismo demuestran intereses en temas a veces inusuales. Por ejemplo, interés en trenes, espacio, dinosaurios o personajes de la televisión. También temas sobre los colores de esmalte de uñas, horarios de aviones o la guerra de Vietnam. We all experience the world through our senses. You see, hear, smell, touch, taste things around you. These senses give you clues about your environment and how you should react. Most of the time, your brain is working behind the scenes, sorting and categorizing all of the sensory input, what you like and do not like. But what if this wasn't the case? What if all the sensory input in the environment came to you at once and you weren't able to easily sort it all out? Problemas sensoriales. Todos experimentamos el mundo a través de los sentidos. Ves, oyes, hueles, tocas y saboreas cosas a tu alrededor. Los sentidos dan pistas sobre el entorno y cómo reaccionar. Y es el cerebro que trabaja para organizar y categorizar toda la entrada sensorial de lo que nos gusta y no nos gusta. Pero, ¿qué pasaría si toda la información sensorial llega a tu cerebro de una vez y no eres capaz de asimilarlo fácilmente? So what can you do to help with the unexpected? Going with the flow may be difficult and is so important to understand and respect an individual's routines and to create those routines that build predictability. Strategies that may be helpful include preparing individuals for the routines. If there's necessary change, you can help prepare for the change by talking about it ahead of time. Using visuals to help with the understanding and the predictability, and whether you talk, speak clearly and simply at a level that is understandable. ¿Qué puedes hacer para ayudar con lo inesperado? Seguir con la corriente puede ser difícil para ellos. 
importante es que entendamos y respetemos las rutinas de ellos y crear rutinas consistentes. Las estrategias para ayudar con los cambios inesperados son, antes del cambio, prepararlos antes hablando con ellos sobre el cambio, usar visuales para la comprensión del cambio y lo pronosticable y siempre hablar de manera simple y clara para que sea comprensible. Now we're going to talk about some other characteristics related to the way that individuals may think or learn. These challenges may be with generalizing skills to new situations, limited independence, difficulties with organization and attention, and a struggle with adaptive skills. Ahora hablaremos sobre el pensamiento y aprendizaje de los estudiantes con TEA. Los desafíos que ellos enfrentan pueden estar relacionados con la generalización, independencia, organización, atención y destrezas adaptivas. They may have a difficult time with generalization. This means that it can be hard to take knowledge or skills that they learn and apply them in a different situation or with a similar but slightly different skill. Generalización se refiere a la dificultad que pueden tener aplicando los conocimientos o destrezas que aprenden o con la dificultad de aplicar una destreza similar pero diferente. Another challenge is struggling with independence. You may find them looking for you for a prompt to start an activity or complete the next step, even when they know what to do next. Fading is gradually reducing the number of prompts or types of prompts to help a learner become more independent. If prompts are not faded, our students will become independent even when the skill is mastered. Ser independientes es otro desafío. Por ejemplo, verlos buscando una directriz o mensaje para comenzar, continuar o completar una actividad. La expectativa es eliminar gradualmente el número de directrices para apoyarlo a ser más independiente. Si las directrices no se cambian, podrían ser dependientes aun cuando dominan la destreza. Organization, planning, and attention are skills that are often impacted, and these skills are part of a concept that people call executive functioning. For example, struggling with organizing their backpacks, keep track of or completing household chores, or shifting attention between tasks. Organización, planificación, y atención. Estas destrezas son parte de un concepto llamado funcionamiento ejecutivo. Algunos ejemplos en los cuales ellos pueden tener dificultad es organizando sus mochilas, realizar un seguimiento y completar tareas domésticas o cambiar la atención, la atención entre tareas. Finally, adaptive skills include daily living skills such as toileting, dressing, or chores. Although learners with a co-occurring intellectual disability may come to mind, learners with autism that have an average or even an above average cognitive skill may still struggle with their adaptive skills. Habilidades adaptivas. Estas incluyen destrezas de la vida diaria como bañarse, vestirse o completar tareas. Estudiantes con habilidades cognitivas promedio o por encima del promedio pueden tener dificultades con las destrezas de adaptación. Before we move on to review how to understand our strategies, I want you to take a moment to think and learn of this characteristic. Take a moment to consider a time when it took you longer than others to learn a new skill or process new information. How did it make you feel? What helped you to become successful? Antes de continuar, considere por un momento en esta actividad. Considere por un momento este pensamiento en el que a usted le tomó más tiempo que a otras personas aprender una nueva destreza o procesar una nueva información. ¿Cómo se sintió en ese momento que le ayudó a tener éxito? It is important to understand the focus and interest of individuals throughout their lives. For young children, engage in their selected activities. 
Be sure that you recognize and support the interests of the individual as they continue to grow. Provide individuals on the spectrum time to process information and respond. Speak clearly and simply. And finally, remember that individuals with autism have more difficulty processing lots of information at once. Visuals can also help with information processing. Veamos nuevamente las estrategias de pensamiento y aprendizaje. Utilice intereses en entender el enfoque único de ellos a lo largo de sus vidas. Reconozca y apoya los intereses a medida que continúa creciendo. Proporcione tiempo para que puedan procesar la información y responder. Hable de forma clara y sencilla. Recuerde que ellos tienen más dificultad para procesar mucha información a la vez. Por eso es el uso de visuales ayuda en el proceso de información. We learned a lot of different characteristics, but you may still be wondering about one big missing category, behavior. The behavior of learners with autism can often stand out above some of the characteristics we've mentioned before. Although behavior is certainly something that we may see, the behavior is not a characteristic, but it's more of a result of the characteristics that we previously discussed. You may see more severe behaviors that can be dangerous or destructive or mild behaviors that may still impede with their learning and are less serious. Ahora hablaremos de la regulación emocional. Una área relacionada con el comportamiento. Es posible que veamos comportamientos que pueden ser peligrosos o destructivos o comportamientos más leves que pueden interferir con el aprendizaje. Emotional regulation is the ability to understand how you feel and understand or be able to read the environment. And it's the ability to take your emotions and be able to match them to what is going on in the environment or the context of what you're in. La regulación emocional es la capacidad de entender cómo nos sentimos y entender nuestro entorno. Es el manejo de emociones para responder a lo que ocurre en el contexto que nos encontramos. When you see someone with autism experiencing a meltdown, it's hard to know how to interact or react. If you're a parent, the instinct may be to try and take control of the behavior. If you're a bystander witnessing something like this in public, maybe your first thought is the child is trying to manipulate a situation or acting out intentionally. You might think, why can't this parent get their child under control? Cuando ves a alguien con TEA experimentando una crisis emocional, es difícil saber cómo reaccionar. Si eres padre, puedes tratar de tomar el control del comportamiento. Si eres un espectador, podrías pensar que el niño está tratando de manipular una situación o actuando intencionalmente. Y hasta pensar, ¿por qué este padre no puede tener a su hijo bajo control? In order to understand what's really going on, we have to look a little deeper. The difficulty that many with autism have with emotional regulation is frequently misunderstood by others. People will think that they're just not paying attention or that they aren't trying to understand. But the difficulty is really that they don't have those brain circuits fully developed that enable them to have a true understanding of their emotion. So when somebody realizes that their response is inappropriate or that their response is not matching what's expected, it can be very frustrating. They can have meltdowns because they don't know what else to do and they withdraw. Y el no darse cuenta de sus emociones ni por qué reaccionan como reaccionan puede ser frustrante. El motivo de sus crisis emocionales es porque no saben qué más hacer. Reflect to yourself. 
what makes emotional regulation more challenging for children and adults with autism? As you're reflecting, please feel free to put it in the chat box as I continue to read. I'll let Reflexionen la siguiente pregunta y escriban su respuesta en el chat. ¿Qué hace que la regulación emocional sea más difícil para los niños y adultos con TEA? Thank you. Emotional regulation difficulties or dysregulation in individuals with autism may mean that they are easily stressed or anxious. They exhibit meltdowns or shutdowns, have a low frustration tolerance, or have reactions that do not match the situation. It's important to recognize these signs of dysregulation, but equally important in how you react to them as a parent. Es importante saber que muchas veces las reacciones de nuestros estudiantes es porque están más estresados o ansiosos, porque tienen baja toleran tolerancia a la frustración o reaccionan de una forma que no coincide con la situación. When you see a person start to exhibit signs of meltdown, please do not assume that they are doing those intention or behaviors intentionally. You really need to take a step back and please do not take it personally. We need to get to the root cause of why they are displaying those behaviors. ¿Qué hacemos entonces? No asuma que es intencional. De un paso atrás y no lo tome personal. Trate de entender la causa de esos comportamientos. It is crucial that you take a moment, take a deep breath, understand the entire environment that you're in. Try to understand what you're trying to, what they are trying to communicate to you. What is it that he or she wants? And then figure out how to best address it without stressing yourself out, without stressing them out, and without making anything escalate. It can be very challenging at times, but this is critical. Es importante que tome un momento para respirar profundo y entender qué están tratando de comunicar o qué es lo que quieren. Descubra la mejor forma de abordarlo, sin estresarse, sin estresarlo, sin hacer nada que escale el comportamiento. Puede ser un reto a veces, mas es bien importante. Throughout our time together today, you've gotten a glimpse of some simple strategies that may, might be helpful to individuals on the spectrum. These are not all of the strategies that are available, but some simple things that can be implemented anywhere at any time. The five simple strategies that we introduced were using interests, preparing for what's coming up, using visuals, providing time, and speaking simply and clearly. Veamos las cinco estrategias simples con más detalles y con algunos ejemplos. Estas son utilizar intereses, prepararse para lo que está por venir, utilizar visuales, proveer tiempo, hablar con sencillez y claridad. We're going to dive a little deeper into each of these five strategies. Our first strategy is using interests. Anyone can observe and learn about what an individual likes. Those preferences are important to them. By taking an interest in what interests them, you can build a relationship and continue to take communication and learning a step further. Sometimes we may see these interests as getting in the way. However, when you think of what they provide for the individual, they really can create opportunities. Usando los intereses. Podemos observar y aprender sobre lo que le gusta a otra persona. Esas preferencias son importantes para ellos. ¿Cómo usted podría aprender sobre los intereses especiales de una persona? Descubra qué le proporciona esos intereses. Calma, ayudar a concentrarse. No vea los intereses como un obstáculo. Aceptar sus intereses ayuda a construir una relación fuerte, comunicarse y aprender más de esta persona. When I refer to preparing for what's coming up, it might indicate in an instant or it may mean something in the future. We all like to be prepared. We use planners, calendars, 
They remind us of what's coming up. Individuals with autism, indeed, everyone will benefit when they're given specific information about what is going to happen, even for familiar events. For example, knowing ahead of time what's for dinner, having a predictable morning routine that's the same every morning, or even planning outfits for the week ahead. Preparándonos para lo que está por venir. A muchos les gusta estar preparados en un instante o en algún momento en el futuro. Los planificadores y calendarios son útiles para recordar, recordarnos lo que viene próximamente. También es beneficioso proporcionar información específica sobre lo que va a suceder en cualquier actividad. Por ejemplo, saber de antemano lo que habrá para cenar, tener una rutina predecible cada mañana o planificar la vestimenta para la semana que viene. Using visuals. Remember, individuals with autism are often strong visual learners. Visuals can be anything, written word, pictures, icons, actual items and objects. If you see someone having difficulty understanding or if they need to present abstract or more complex information, think about how you can also show the individual. At breakfast, you might show the child a picture of the food items that they can choose from. If you expect them to complete a task, you might want to provide photos or a checklist or a chart of all the steps involved. Los visuales. Las imágenes pueden ser palabras escritas, imágenes, iconos, elementos reales y objetos. Piensen cómo presentar información abstracta o más compleja en imágenes. Por ejemplo, en el desayuno puede mostrar fotos de los alimentos para elegir o para completar una tarea. Puede proporcionar fotos o una lista de todos los pasos involucrados. Our fourth step, provide time. Providing time can have many different meanings. First, individuals on the spectrum may need more time to listen and then respond when you talk with them. Another way to provide time is when an individual has difficulty regulating their emotions. After ensuring that they're safe, you may want to provide them time without talking so they can reflect. Proporcionar tiempo. Las personas en el espectro pueden necesitar más tiempo en una conversación para escuchar y luego responder, especialmente cuando tienen dificultad para regular sus emociones. Asegúrese que están a salvo. Permítale un tiempo en silencio sin hablar con ellos. Finally, speaking simply and clearly means that you are communicating with the individual in a way that they can understand. Autism impacts individuals in many different ways, and what you see may not be what they are experiencing. These simple strategies might be that first step in handling situations that are difficult, uncovering strengths that you may not have seen in your child, and building relationships. As a team, we can help them to become successful communicators, and if we work together, we can help them reach their potential. El autismo afecta a las personas de muchas maneras diferentes y lo que usted ve no puede no ser lo que ellos están experimentando. Las estrategias simples presentadas pueden ser un primer paso para manejar situaciones que son difíciles, descubrir fortalezas que quizás no hayas visto en ellos y construir relaciones fuertes y positivas. Como equipo, Podemos ayudarlos a convertirse en comunicadores exitosos. Si trabajamos juntos, podremos ayudarlos a alcanzar su máximo potencial. Thank you for being here today, and we hope that you can utilize this for your um, students. Gracias por estar en esta presentación y esperamos que le haya sido muy útil para sus estudiantes. And thank you to our translator. Er, welcome. Multiple. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Tengan una linda tarde.